the Domestic Violence Act, Chapter 1109 of the Laws of Guyana, was passed in 1996, and it was mainly passed to protect women, children, and men from being abused. And so domestic violence is very, very pervasive, unfortunately, in our, in our country, in the whole world, in our region, globally, 10 to 50 percent of women are victims of domestic violence. And of course, it doesn't respect color, class, creed, or society. Safety and justice was one of the drivers, and it's part of our, we have a five-year program in Guyana, so 2017-2021, in addition to education, for example, in other areas. But really, child protection and that umbrella, access to justice and the safe uh, protection for children is, is the core of our mandate. The role of the media is crucial to the manner in which the society treats with, views, and responds to many issues. You are our voices, and because you are our voices, you have to accurately represent what we did so that your public can accurately appreciate what has happened. Um, we do training uh, with primarily frontline workers, persons within the healthcare systems, social services, persons at the community level so that they can be equipped uh, with the knowledge, with the tools, uh, so that they can increase their response. Training people in communities to understand domestic violence, to understand what the law is, to understand what the police are supposed to do, to understand how the courts are supposed to respond and to monitor those things. UNICEF believes that responding to violence at any level, whether it's at family level, community level, at school level, is very important overall for the society, for the community, for the country. I have never hit my wife. Excellent, excellent. Applauding. Excellent. So I believe that while we we looked at the, the psychological part of what is happening and how we're grappling with all the various violence that are erupting in society. We must be able to address the main man. What can be done to improve this um, in terms of safety for women? What if uh, the situation arises where a woman just out of spite is lying on the bed? zero tolerance for domestic violence. Especially where there's serious injury, the police are advised, charge first, investigate, lay the charge, and then we will deal if somebody wants to be trapped or whatever, let it go to court. The intention is to lower the higher rates of domestic violence. So we need to find ways to support women 